everyone. Last week, we began the story of Chen Storm's doubts, ending it with him and Lily finding their way to Pandaria, their ancestral lands. She was very excited about the discovery, already imagining their friends and family soon to join them, but Chen knew that they wouldn't be the only ones to find a way to this land. To ask why we fight is to ask why the leaves fall. It is in their nature. Perhaps there is a better question. do we fight to protect home and family, to preserve balance and bring harmony? For my kind, the true question is, what is worth fighting for? And Chen would be right, of course. The Horde and Alliance found a way to Pandaria bringing with them their reinvigorated faction war. Not Warchief Rao, but Warchief Garrosh and King Varian Rin, their forces make landfall and upset the balance that the Pandaren holds so dear. So... It was a bear? In a hat! This land is infected with something called the Sha. It feeds on negative emotions, our war truly being a banquet for them. While the Alliance and Hordes deal with cleaning up the mess that they made, they also find Chen and Lily on their travels in the Valley of the Four Winds. For them, the valley is a home away from home, only on a much larger scale. Chen was surprised to find out that his relatives, they actually run a brewery in the area, but the state of the place is not exactly what he expected to find. I found the brewery and made my way inside. I decided to look around for someone else from the Stormstout family. Sorry, we aren't accepting visitors right now. I am no visitor. I am Chen, Stormstout. You should leave. But we are family. 
I am a storm stout from the Wandering Isle. Are you deaf? We aren't allowing anybody in the brewery right now. There is no need to speak to me that way. Wait, what is going on behind you? Huh? That's... that's nothing! Now go away! I had no choice but to defend myself. I was shaken, but I did not give up. I pursued the strange old brewer to ask him some more questions. What? Were you sent to check up on me? Everything's fine. It's all under control. Come, speak with me. Let's sit down and talk. Have a beer together. There will be no sitting, no talking, and none of your horrible beer. Hey, what's that behind you? <laughs> First beer elementals, and now a Hosen attack. Something was very wrong. I decided to give him one more chance. I was not about to give up on family. How many times must I tell you? Go away! I don't understand, old man. What have I done to upset you? It's not what you've done. It's who you are. You are not welcome here, Chen Storm Stout. That was all I needed to hear. Shunned by my own blood. I turned and left. I travel well. Lily, let's go. Your uncle has got something to prove. Finally, there's the Uncle Chen I've been waiting for. Come back with some story. First things first. We are going to need some sweet malts. You can find your malts at the granary, I reckon. <laughs> mud mug. mug! I'm here to help with that fancy beer you was talking about. Glad to have you. We will be making a stout. Can you get a few barrels of water? Get her done. Lily, you get the malts. I will research the local brews. We'll meet back here. Research? Sure. It is the Wanderer's way. Very well. I will need your help making this beer. When I yell out the names of ingredients, you throw them in the pot. <laughs> I am kidding! I am the best brewer across three continents. I think I can handle this pot. <laughs> Damn straight you can. If you wouldn't mind waiting, this might take a long time. That did take a long time. Let's load these barrels up into the cart, shall we? Onward to the Storm Stout Brewery. So long, Hatfield! Mud Mug, are you coming? Oh, I don't know. This kind of seems like a family thing you're doing, and I... It is a family thing, Mud Mug. And I want you to join us. No fooling? <laughs> of course not. We brewed beer together. That practically makes us brothers. Yeah. Beer brothers. Ugh. You guys are gonna make me throw up. Seriously, though, Mud Mug. Don't be dumb. Come on, help me pull this cart. Huh, looks like they're closed. Yes, strange. This door was not here before. Y'all think they're hiding something inside? We will find out. Storm Stouts, open up! I have returned! And I brought beer. Um, guys? Settle down, Lily. You know that I hate to be interrupted while I am knocking on doors. Chen, it's a giant dang old hosen. Ooh, 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 crashing ooh, party. <laughs> hosen attack. 
Hold on. I will break you out of those barrels. All right, then. What's up? The brewery's got a second entrance. Over yonder. I reckon I'll see you over there. All right. Let's go smush that water varmint. Come here. Give that bubble a good poke. <sighs> nice fighting. Real hero like. Y'all should check in with Lily up ahead. Look how big and ugly he is. Should I run? Uh, I I'm gonna run. <laughs> what the ook? <laughs> Uncle Chen's waiting up ahead. You go find him. I'll stay here and mock this unconscious monkey. Not so tough now, are you? That's right. You look so dumb there, laying on the ground. You seem a little parched. Storm Stout! Give me a hand. Once we get rid of these spirits, we can move on. That sure was nice of those spirits to hop into this pot. What? Looks like we're not done yet. I think we've done enough damage for one oh, day. Oh, hello, Zan. It's good of you to visit all the anti storm stout. I am not Zan. I am Chen Storm Stout. Oh, Zan, you remind me so much of your father. Tell me, what has happened here? It is certainly a nice day outside. Where are the other storm stouts? Why are Hosen all over the brewery? Oh, have you seen the size of Esme's turnips? Anti storm stout, why is the brewery abandoned? Abandoned? Oh, heavens no! Uncle Gao is in charge, while the others are beyond the wall. Isn't that exciting? I see. And where is Uncle Gao? I have some cookies for you. There is no time for cookies. Well, one cookie. Just one. Ah! No! Oh, what is that thing? Ah, it doesn't matter. Nothing will stop me now. Not when I'm so close. Maybe if I don't look at it. Is it? Can it be? Such harmony of flavor. Such heady aroma. It is the perfect brew. The name of Storm Stout will be sung once again. Throughout the hills. Uncle Gao, this brewery was left in your care. What have you done? You again? Don't you see? I have made a name for myself at last. I have brewed perfection. At what cost? The brewery is trashed, infested. Details, details. And there are vermin in the main store. Look, Chen Stormstout, we all can't be heroes, running from our responsibilities, tromping around the dread wastes, saving the world. Some of us are artists. I think the brewery might be on fire. Yes, yes, that happens. Instead of connecting with his relatives, this place is an absolute mess. So we help clean it up from the loathsome vermin and the unruly hosen. With the place under control, Uncle Gao opens up to them. Usually, many other of the storm stouts, they live and work in the brewery, but they'd all gone west to find an ancient insect people known as the Mantids. They've been causing problems to Pandaria for generations, and riling up the Sha, it sped up the timetable. Unexpectedly, they knock on the borders of the valley, ready to claim it for their queen. You three, assist Captain Oakenshield in the front. Green till black soil, cover our left flank. I don't want any surprises. Levin, take the right side. You're on your own. Everyone else, if you can hold a weapon, protect this village. Don't let them pass this line. You... You're nothing but farmer's children. 
We don't stand a chance. Everyone, fall back! Fall back! For Pandaria! Who are you? Does it matter who we are? We are here to help you. Oh, we're surrendering? Why? Because these invaders can break down a wall. You have got another wall. And it is made up of the people who call this place home. Hey, give me one of them pitchforks. Any one of us would lay down our life to protect this land. This land, it belongs to us. It belongs to our ancestors. It belongs to our children. And we are not about to let that change. A hard battle follows, but Stoneplow still stands. We wipe the floor with the mantids, but they got the feeling that this was only the first of more attacks to come. Chen and Gao would then spend days on end inside the brewery, discussing recipes and testing new ales. This was fine with Lily, as she felt that Chen was just slowing her down. Now she was free to explore more of Pandaria, visiting pretty much every single zone, until she found him again in the drought wastes. Chen had gone there to look for the other storm stouts, and this land beyond the serpent's spine, ruled by the Mented and Sha, it's not a place for happy memories. They say your name was Evie. They say you were a sweet girl. I never knew you, but you were family. May your journey in the next world be filled with joy and beauty. Farewell, Evie Stormstout. She looked like Lily. Evie Stormstout is found dead. But Chen doesn't give up on tracking down the rest of them. Han storms out, he is found trapped in some amber, presumed to be dead by Chen, but we can set him free, as well as Mama storms out, currently being mind controlled, but nothing that a bit of killing can't fix. The family, including Big Dan storms out, they were just about to embark on a rescue mission to find Lily when she found them. Storms out reunited, they're learning more about their ancestor heritage and their family. Now Chen and Lily, they might see Pandaria as a home away from home, but not all of the Pandarans see them as their kin. These wandering Isle Pandaran, they saw the looks, the disapproving gazes. Wild dogs, they called them, a title that Lily wore with honor. But Chen, he was willing to fight to make this his home, fight those that tried to make him feel like he was different and didn't belong there, or fight those that literally tried to take it away. This is a story told in the novel Vol'jin, Shadows of the Horde, which, as the title implies, it revolves more about Vol'jin's journey, but Chen, he definitely had his part to play. Set after the scenario in which Vol'jin's throat got sliced open for speaking out against Garrus' plans, the troll's body is found by his old friend Chen, who takes him to the Shadowpen Monastery. While Vol'jin recovers and finds out more about what it means to be a troll, a shadow hunter, a member amongst the hordes, Chen got in touch with a lovely monk called Yalia Sage Whisper, or Sage Flower, as her family name used to be. Some of them, they're wild dogs by birth, while others are by choice. When she was younger, Yalia would be given away to the son of another fisherman. But there were two potential candidates. Fighting over their hands, the boys pushed each other. A rivalry that would not end even after one of them had married her. Even at that young age, she knew that one of them would end up dead. The other forever living with their guilt. Three lives would be ruined. So she decided to leave her village behind and join the monastery. Now, many years later, she travels back home with Chen and Lily and reconnects with her family. Yalia's father, Swen Lo, the master of a fishing fleet, he ends up in a drinking competition with Chen. The brewmaster and Yalia, they've been growing closer together. In his mind, he's already come up with plans to expand their family brewery to this part of Pandaria, partially because this will bring him closer to Yalia. 
and her father agreed that the Stormstow Brewery should open up an operation in Sao Chin and that he would finance it in return for a modest share of profits and a bottomless mug. Yalia is even fonder of Sao Chin now that Chen is fond of it. But finding peace, it happens no matter the location. But you should know that on a quiet night, sipping tea with her friend, a friend like Chen, she feels even more peaceful. Chen felt that had she suddenly become a tree and rooted herself in that spot, he would never wander further than the shade she provided. He couldn't say that, of course, and his smile couldn't convey it. So he climbed up to where she stood and he nodded. Quiet night. Or loud, with tea or beer, or just cool water. I would always feel at peace with my friend. She shyly turned her face from his, but could not hide a smile. Then, let's return to our home, away from our homes, and enjoy that peace as well. But peace was not on the table quite yet, as the Zandalari, they made ready to invade Pandaria. For us, we played through the storyline during the Isle of Thunder, taking care of the Zandalari and their ally the Thunder King. But in the book, we read about some of the earlier attacks, even offering Vol'jin a spot amongst their ranks. But the Shadowhunter knows deep down that the Horde is his family, and he's not about to abandon them to the Zandalari or to Warchief Garrosh. And now that the trolls are trying to take Pandaria, he has a chance to fight for his friend's land, just as Chen had done for him. After evacuating the civilians, they make ready for what could very well be their final stand. But against all odds, they actually win the day. Giving Taranzu and the rest of them enough time to get in touch with the Alliance and the Horde, recruit their aides to go to the Isle of Thunder. While Vol'jin now knew where his path was going to lead him next, he would rise from the ashes, show the world that he wasn't dead quite yet, and lead his Dark Spear Rebellion. Chen said his goodbyes to Yalia to join his friend on this quest. She would have joined him while she not needed in Pandaria. But don't worry, he means for them to spend as much time as possible, spend their time together. With her he feels, for once and truly, at home. Traveling together or staying at the brewery. It didn't matter much for these two, they're in love and their plans for the future are racing through his mind. But first, we'd see him fighting once more in the lands of Durotar. Thrall, Vol'jin, all that's really missing is Rexar, champion of the Horde, to lead the charge. All the same, the Darkspear Rebellion, it was a successful one. Garrosh was kicked out of the mantle of Warchief, and Vol'jin was appointed as the new one. I do find it really sad that they didn't send Chen back home to the brewery to just hang out with Yalia. They had their moment on the Timeless Isle, watching the tournament together. But then their paths would split up. She would join the Priest Order Hall in their battle against the Burning Legion. As, once again, the Legion tried to claim the world. Chen and Lily, at the time, they were hanging out at the Peak of Serenity in Kun Lai, teaching cups the finer things of their crafts when the demons attacked. Grandmaster Hyde, it is a relief to see you. Chen, I'm glad to see you and the children are safe. It was all thanks to this hero who arrived just in time to help us out. Well fought, but we're not done yet. Chen! Take the cubs as far away from this place as you can. This champion and I will stay and seal the portal. White Tiger, walk with you, my friend. We do manage to shut down the portal, but that massive explosion, it knocks us out for quite a while, and we wake up to the smiling face of Nurse Yang on the Wandering Isle. We were lucky that the turtle was traveling nearby the peak as all of this went down. Fearsome Yang lets us know that Grandmaster Hyde was not so fortunate as his spirit now rests with the ancestors. Now we must look to a new leader of our order, of our broken temple, and all the other masters, they have one name in mind. They've chosen us to be their new leader, as we have shown strength, wisdom, courage and kindness beyond measure. Let us all give honor to the Grand Master. May she lead us with strength and wisdom. Monks, our greatest challenge still lies ahead. Under our new master, we will send a message of defiance to our enemies. They will not take our home without a fight. Cheers for our new Grandmaster, as we've just lost nearly everything. But from the ruins of our former order, we are going to rebuild. We will lead the Order of the Broken Temple in a war against the Legion and make sure that they pay. Powerful, legendary artifacts are claimed by heroes to grant them the power that they needed. Not just the monks either. All the classes got their individual quests, like the shamans going after the Fist of Raden. 
they'll need to prove themselves worthy of them in a tournament, hosted by the White Tiger. But they're not the only ones interested in obtaining the fists. I'm Storm Stout! You seek the weapons of the storm as well? Test. I do. Mind. Storm. Earth. Fire. That's kind of my thing. Good. Many seek the artifacts of the Keeper of Storms. None have passed the trials. Come and be judged. Incredible form. A fighter in perfect harmony with the elements. You've almost got this, champion! I... yield. This isn't over, Shaman. Someday we will meet on a true field of battle. The Shaman has triumphed. The first trial is complete. A true hero never fights alone. The next trial is a test of teamwork. You must choose a partner. I will be the second for my champion. Who will we fight? I believe I am next. Stormstout? Ha! I've been waiting for a chance to get you into the arena. Take you down a peg or two. Is that so? We shall see who the real hero of the storm is around here. But first, I need a partner. Ready for adventure. Oh no, Lily. I do not think... This is gonna be great! <laughs> Remember, only through teamwork will you triumph. Three, two, one, fight! What's Ignore that? your pride. Take out the Pandaren girl first. Let's roll! You are fast, Orc, but not fast enough. You've bitten off more than you can chew, Pandaren. And <laughs> that's a lot. Let's roll. These guys don't play nice. You have bested me. Congratulations, hero. The second challenge is complete. You have proven your worth, champion. You are ready. For the final trial. I believe in you, Shaman. I'll be honest. Those things scare me. No! Watch it! Focus, champion! Hmm. Maybe we should do this outdoors. Stay focused, champion! You were born to command these elements! You can do this! Something is wrong. Someone is here! The Legion is attacking! Leave the mortals alive. We must find the weapons of the Great Horse Storm God. As if gaining control over the weapon isn't hard enough, the Legion also decides that this is the perfect time to attack. Lord Kravos has come to claim the weapons, but their allies are quickly set free and they show the demon who the true master of the elements is. Storm, earth and fire, heed my call! You have Let's one. roll! I will feast on your soul after my triumph here. Phew, that feels much better. Let me at him! Lord Kravos is vanquished. All trials have been mastered. The shaman has earned the right to wield the Fist of Raden. Meanwhile, going back to the monks, in order to rebuild and win the war, they will need trusted champions to be sent out on missions. Who better to be first selected than Chen and Lily Stormstout? Nearly every order hall had their own campaign and individual story during the expansion. It was quite a time to play the game. Now in the case of the monks and Chen Stormstout, it pretty much came down to gathering ingredients for a special Vrykul brew which they called Storm Brew. Stand firm, Grandmaster! Protect the brew at all costs! With the Legion gaze falling upon the Wandering Isle, we finish crafting it and taking vengeance for what happened in Kun Lai. Empowered by the Storm Brew, we take on the editor responsible for the death of Grandmaster Heights and the destruction at the Peak of Serenity. She has taken our members captive, tortured them, but now, with the power of the Stormbrew coursing through our veins, she pays the ultimate price. 
I do remember being a bit disappointed with the story of this order hall. It felt like they could have done a lot more with the monk theme than just brew something, but it was kind of cool to see that this came back later as we pushed deeper into the broken shore and the tomb of Sargeras. Chen didn't accompany us to Argus, nor was he there when Sargeras was defeated. Instead, we saw the Order Halls disband without a proper goodbye, and the Horde and Alliance are fighting each other once again. The wandering brewmaster, he found himself defending his beloved Pandaria against the rising Moku. Look at all of them! I've never seen the Moku clans join forces like this! They must think it's a good time to strike. The Golden Lotus is busy dealing with Nazoth. Wait! Down there, an abandoned brew caravan. Uncle, look out! I cannot steer! Hold on! Okay. Okay, okay. I have the perfect plan. You just need to kill their commanders, and that'll stop the rest of the army. Somehow. I hope. That is definitely a plan. Hey, we've had worse plans, and they've worked out just fine. <laughs> I'll stay here to heal and protect Uncle Chen. You get out there and take down those Mogu! And so we do. The mightiest amongst the ranks, they fall to our blades, and the brew is collected, gathered upon our safe yak called Moby. Quite a handy friend to have, as the brew, it allows us to thin the Mogu ranks before they can even set foot in the veil, but their forces, they're far too much to handle for just a little party. I travel well. We have to warn everyone about that giant Mogu Colossus! It is clear that the Mogu intend to conquer the veil. Let us head for Mistfall Village. Moby will accompany us. No time to waste! Come on! And that's where they've been hanging out ever since. That is where Chen's story ends for the moment. The Mogu invaders, as well as the Fretedness of, they're taken care of at the end of Battle for Azeroth. Now he kept himself out of the faction conflict this time around, and I'm surprised exactly how much story Chen has altogether. From a goofy, funny side character in Warcraft 3 to a massively developed wise Pandaren, he still comes with humor of course, he still has his goofy moments, but there's also a profound wisdom and depth to be found when it comes to the storytelling of Mr. Pandaria. And most especially, family. These are the things that bring me balance. These are the things I fight. I personally hope that we'll one day see Chen and Yalia running their own brewery, with Lily traveling the world, getting ingredients for her beloved uncle, come home with many new adventures, but one can dream. All the same. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the story of Chen Stormstout. Subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time, see ya!